So yesterday I set up the turbine and I secured it with a lot of uh, Velcro to secure the cord and I'm using a regular extension cord at least that's how it's wired because it has three wires and it goes along here and comes down over here into where I've got my little setup all done up uh, that there's the manual brake. There's an electronic brake on the controller right here. That's the brake right there. Uh, I have the selector switch for the solar uh, or wind. And uh, this morning I left. We were sitting at 12.4. Uh, we are now 12. Point, oh, you can't see that? Mm. Uh, it says 12.8. Uh, a couple of minutes ago it said 13.1. And this little amp uh, meter I uh, got uh, through eBay with the uh, 75 ohm uh, shunt that you're supposed to use with it uh, and it spiked all the way past 20 um, now there's a 30 amp meter that comes with the uh, controller and the uh, uh, wind breeze or whatever the name of the turbine is I'll get that for you later anyways I decided to put a little uh, battery meter to tell me what the real voltage was on the battery and as you can see it's a uh, it's spiking into like a seven and a half so oh, here we go 12.5 anyways uh, like I said a few seconds ago it was uh, spiked all the way past 20 so it does produce uh, a lot of current this is an MPPT controller so of course it takes the uh, the lower amperage coming in and the higher amperage coming in and it changes the 12 volts to charge the batteries and uh, that's about it that's my solar controller I have no solar con uh, panels right now uh, but that's uh, that may change in the future that's why we have it that way and uh, like I said I'm using uh, regular plug-ins because it's got uh, uh, three three wires as you can see all I did was strip the uh, the rubber off of it to lessen the weight. Uh, there's quite a, a bit of insulation around each wire so I'm not too too worried about that and uh, I'm using that because uh, it's the only thing I could find that was 8 gauge um, so that's the biggest gauge I could find in extension cable it used to be an RV cable uh, but the ends uh, got damaged so uh, I kept the wire and a good thing I did so I'm using it with the turbine and that's about it now as far as masts go as you can see it's tied on to the uh, awning uh, again using velcro uh, I am hoping to get uh, the same setup as I had for the older one which is a uh, muffler clamp and a uh, right reverse muffler clamp with some uh, rubber hose on the teeth part where it makes contact with the uh, awning bar and uh, so it can hold the, the pipe. Now the pipe right now um, is from a fence. Now if you uh, go to Home Depot you can pick up a 10 piece, 10 foot piece, uh, a black or galvanized uh, for I think it's 15 bucks and uh, I don't know I, I ended up I, I just happen to have that piece uh, there. Now this thing is turning like crazy but of course you only see uh, you probably see it just going in reverse right now. Anyways. Um, the diameter wasn't quite right, so I ended up uh, using a piece of uh, ABS or a PV PVC uh, and uh, matching the size with the pipe with a little bit of uh, duct tape. I don't know if I can show you that. I will, I will take it apart uh, and show you when I take it down, uh, probably next week because I'll be going to get Michelle from the airport again this year in Phoenix. So, and this, uh, that's a 10 foot piece, and this last piece here is again um, a smaller piece of fence. Uh, as you can see, it goes in uh, one the other. I did end up cutting the collar here because it was just a little bit more narrow. And uh, what I did is I put some electrical tape on this part so that it doesn't wobble so much and not so loose inside. And uh, it happens that uh, for some reason, when I got this piece of pipe, it already had a couple of holes. So I put a screw in there in case this should split and this post should go sliding inside. But I don't think that'll happen. It's a pretty solid galvanized steel. 
Um, now it's like I said, it's hooked up to the uh, the clamp where the uh, awning is clamped onto. Hasn't been much problems. Um, I added this long piece of foam here just as a precaution, maybe as a as a buffer for vibration, but hasn't really been as bad. The other one, uh, the, the older one that I had, uh, did quite a bit of cogging, so it created vibration when it uh, when it turned. Uh, this one, uh, there's no cogging really, and uh, it's uh, it, the 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 weather uh, app, the IQ weather, is saying that the winds are uh, 20 to 35 kilometers per hour. Uh, that translates to I don't know, 16 to 25 miles per hour. Uh, so it is, um, it's doing very well. Um, as you can see from the side side view here, the the, the post is not. Uh, it is it is flexing um, naturally. I don't think any post would uh, would not flex to some extent. Uh, but the uh, turbine seems to be turning uh, quite well. So that's it for now. Um, I'm still a strong advocate of uh, wind power because uh, tonight when there's no sun this turbine will still be producing anywhere between 2 to 15 amps uh, all night as long as there's wind of course. Uh, mind you I, I did keep the option of solar um, because there are times in uh, Arizona where there's uh, no wind and there's always uh, sun uh, except today. <laughs> But uh, fear not, uh, if there's a little bit of rain, the sun will come back out again uh, at some point. And uh, it usually stays for days at a time. So, all right, so much for that. You folks have a good day. Uh, if you have any questions related to solar power or wind power, you can, uh, you can send them to me in your comments. Um, for solar and batteries, I'm using carbon foam batteries, uh, but for other kinds of batteries, you can uh, look up uh, Will Prouse. He's a young lad and uh, he knows a lot about it and he's uh, made a living out of uh, supplying uh, the RV community with uh, solar panel and battery information and all kinds of stuff. Very smart guy, very uh, industrious. And uh, if I had money to put down on a company, uh, he'd, he'd be one of them. So, all right guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Stay dry. Stay in the sun. Cheers. Hello, Becca. Want to go for a walk? Oh, 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 yeah. Always ready for a walk, eh? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Hmm. Want to go for a walk? It's raining. All right. Maybe in a couple of minutes. Okay. A couple of minutes? All right.